Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your mid month horoscope forecast for love, wealth, and health and wellness. And this is going to be for now until the end of September. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. Also, the Eye of Zen is up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. Okay, so uh, obviously we're gonna touch upon love, and then we're gonna touch upon career and finance, and then health. So guys, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in, Gemini. All right, so what's going on with my Geminis? Romantic love life, give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's career and finance for now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at this. And by the way, Gemini, you can cross watch for more information. You can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign. Okay, so Gemini, you're about to be very happy here with the sun card energy. And you know what? You have big luck on your side because that's the sun card energy. It is big luck. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody is single and available here. Nine of Pentacles. They got their eye on you, okay? They want to have a conversation with you, okay? And they're saving up. That's what I feel like. <laughs> they're saving up here. Um, I also feel like they may reach out to you very soon. Once they find their courage and strength. We got the strength card energy coming out. Um... This person is gonna come off very innocent. Uh, like they're gonna kind of like hide the, their feelings from you about the situation, okay? You may not be aware of it, or for some of you, it may be very obvious, okay? Uh, because I feel like with this particular strength card, it's like half there, half there. So it's like for some of you, it may be very obvious, and others of you, it may not, okay? Um, this person is definitely wanting to be like, Gemini, oh my God, you know, I got that kind of energy from the sun card energy. Suns talk about happiness, nines talk about desires and strength or courage around that. So let's keep going here, Gemini. You know, I like to use three different decks to clarify or more or less two different decks to clarify the one deck. All right, so well, there's my cat meowing. So I apologize if you hear my cat. All right, so Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Gemini's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my career and finance. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. She literally sounds like a baby right now, my cat. All right, so we got the house and family card. We got the fox card energy. And we got the snake card energy. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so house and family. So there is a sense of happiness, something stable here, something close to home, house and family, um, a want for family. Uh, I don't feel like they're gonna be completely honest with you about being single and available to pursue and their strong desires around the situation, okay? Because foxes talk about deceptions. Also, foxes are kind of like cats. A little bit, they may come off a little bit fickle, okay? And uh, sevens are uh, like a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing. Uh, we see that there is some kind of challenge here when it comes to stability and stableness. I want more information here, Gemini. So let's go further on this. Okay, so Gemini's romantic love life from now until the end of September. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. There is the happiness card, 10 of cups. There is the healing card. And there is the abrupt decision making. Okay. Okay, so what's going on with this person? I feel like you make them you make them very happy when it comes to love. But there's still some things here which is causing challenges because there's some things that are being healed still. And so this person's hesitant in making abrupt decisions because of having to cut away some unhealthy attachments from the past. And I feel like also there may be a lack of courage and strength because there's still the sense of they may feel like you're healing from another past relationship or they're he healing from a past relationship. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, let's keep going, Gemini. All right, so we got the temperance card. Temperance card is a patient card energy for things to be revealed, to things to be brought into balance. And there's this defensive energy about getting hurt, nine of wands energy. And then we see going further, but there is love here. 
King of Cups is coming out. So I feel like there's this patient energy for things that come into balance and there's defensive energy. It's like, I feel like they may feel like you have your wall up here, Gemini. They do want to reach out to you, but it's like, you know, they, there's this passion here. They see that there's this chemistry here, but it's like they, they're hesitant because of this wall. And so they're playing around with, they're toying around with what they should do here when it comes to their emotions. And they're kind of just focused and looking on, all right, I need to take a leadership role here when it comes to my emotions. Okay, going further. There is some kind of letter message document, something to do with a person coming out. And then we see the tree card again, healing. What do I always say about the person card? It can be you, it can be the love connection, okay? It can be a person infringing upon the connection. So we see there's this patient energy, some kind of text message, Facebook message. Because of a person uh, being defensive about getting hurt, and they're like, all right, you know what? I want to be wise in my decision making when it comes to love and romance and my feelings because of healing, tree cart energy. So there could be a, a go-between here as well, but I didn't see the doll cart, so I can't say it's a friend that's a go-between, but somebody who is healing, a person that's a healing person, is giving some kind of message here. Okay, so let's keep going. I want more information. So there's going to be a decision made about this very soon because of this text message, Facebook message, or his letter. And there's a lot of deep, heavy soul searching about getting hurt when it comes to this person. And then we see what's going on here. Something to do with a commitment, engagement, or marriage and wanting to heal this and be wise in the decision making. So there's a lot of, of looking at this deeply about this happiness and this decision healing and trying to decide some things very soon about a commitment, engage or marriage. And what's over here, the house and family card and trying to be happy. Okay. Some kind of stable connection and there's something to do with love here. Okay. So before we go further, Gemini, I want to, I want to take a look at what's going on with your love interest feelings and what your advice is. So let's do that now. So whoever it is you're here for, whoever you wanted to know about, okay. They want to reconcile with you. They want this, this past connection to be renewed. And they'd like an opportunity for you to say yes. So what's your advice, Gemini? Your advice is to connect with your soulmate, to make a choice with your heart. And make an effort here. So soulmate for me talks about who is your soulmate? Which person feels like your soulmate here? or making the choice with your heart, okay, to make the effort and going further when it comes to family and long-term commitment. Okay, so let's see what's going on here, Gemini. All right, let's see, going further. So things call, um, come full circle here with the world card energy. This person really wants to hold on to you and they've been constantly thinking, planning uh, about this situation. They do have love for you with that heart card being there. We see that there is a sense of confusion uh, with the clouds card energy because of a conversation that takes place. So you're, you're a bit like, whoa, okay, what's going on here? They, they want the sense of accomplishment. They want to complete this connection. They're going to have a conversation with you about this. And you can see that this person has a sense of thinking about this and contemplating about this isolation or separation here. And then we see this person is obsessed with you. That's the four of swords energy. And they want to bring that into balance when it comes to you. Okay. And so they're going to communicate the fact that they feel isolated and separated from you. I feel like this person really wants a long-term commitment. Wow. This is actually going to happen. Gemini, this person is going to have a conversation with you. They're going to connect with you because they're, lo they're looking for some long-term. I mean, we even come back to the advice. There's a soulmate connection. You can make the effort. If you feel like this is great love and worth putting the effort into it for family and long-term commitment here, you see that. And we see this person so obsessed with you. They want to bring things into balance and they're going to communicate with you that they, they feel isolated and separated from you. They are interested in some kind of long-term commitment. And you see the house card talks about family, long-term commitment, Gemini. Wow. This is actually going to happen here. Gemini, there is this sense of love and healing and making this decision here because this person's like, I'm isolated and separated. I want a commitment. I'm obsessed with you. I, I have strong desires to bring this into balance and I need to have a conversation with you, Gemini. Okay, so when we see the bird's cart, there is going to be a conversation here about this. Okay, and then we see 
house and family and someone is not being honest about their desires in this letter this message this document when it comes to this person and healing this connection there's they're confused here so this conversation takes place about the fact that there's isolation and separation here going further on this gemini There is a sense of happiness. You're single and available to pursue, or they're single and available to pursue. They have a sense they're isolated and separated. They find the courage and strength to be patient, to bring things into balance. There's defensive energy about getting hurt. Because there's wisdom of making a, of the wise choice when it comes to love and romance. There is love here. And this person wants a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. They want to hold on to you because they're constantly thinking about you. Four of swords energy. Okay, now let's move into your career and finance here, Gemini. So we see the moon card energy. You guys are a bit confused about what you want here. So you're trying to be patient or you're gaining advice from a person who's very nurturing and supportive. And this gives you the wisdom that you need to take a leadership role here when it comes to your passions and creativity. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Yeah, it's definitely giving you the power that you need for an ideal situation. And we see that you're going to speak your truth about this. Queen of Swords energy. There's going to be a truth revealed about the fact that you're going to have to make a decision. To a, to a Wands energy. Going further on this, we see a person here. And some kind of news about travel, movement, or change. And we see another person card coming out, which gives you the power and strength. Bear card energy. To make a wise decision, choice, to a wands energy. Going further on this, yes, it's very hopeful for you guys. Star card energy. The things that are being revealed, and you're like, whoa, I'm just gonna grab onto this and I'm gonna hold on. And we see Star card tells me improvements and changes. Some of you are gonna travel. You guys are looking at your options here, Seven of Cups energy, that are really hopeful. And it's to do with another person card coming out again. It looks like you're going to be able to fight and defend your position for what you want here with Seven of Wands energy. Star card, you're going to get what you want here. Star card energy is something very hopeful about this. Okay, so we see that there's a person that pays you a visit uh, because of travel, movement, or change. This person and boss or um, something to do with control or a manager job, and it's like there's some wisdom or patient energy and some improvements, changes, or changes of location because of a person. Uh, in their wishes and hopes, dark heart energy. The bear card can be a boss that speaks their truth. The bear card can be uh, you having to take on more responsibilities. Okay, let's keep going. There's a sense of confusion, uh, but you're trying to figure out what are on a long-term basis. You take a leadership role when it comes to your passions and you realize that you have the power here to speak your truth about your choice and you speak what your wishes are here and uh, there's a sense of confusion here so you're gonna have to fight for what you want but you will win because you have the higher ground to win this with the seven of wands energy okay gemini let's take a look at your health and wellness now okay what's gonna happen with gemini's health and wellness what's gonna happen with gemini's health and wellness for now until the end of september show my cards you need to Show me the cards I need to see. Jonah, you got to get outside more. We see the sunlight card here. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me to enjoy the benefits of sunshine in a safe and healthy way. And then we see accepting that everything is going to be okay. Dear God and Archangel Raphael, please help me to accept that everything is going to be in the right direction. And also, you guys have to focus on craving healthy foods and beverages. Okay, we see sobriety going on for the rest of this month. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great rest of your month. Uh, I'll see you guys another day or two with your weeklies. And for the free reading contest, all you do is put twin flames in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon.